Toomey looking to be the fifth woman to move past 190. Yeah. She will make that. It is incredible what we are seeing right now. Watching just the dominance that is continuing on the floor and on the field with Tia Tumi. Tia has been competing with herself since the very first event. Dominance defined, history made, legacy left for the fifth straight time. Tia Tumi is the fittest woman on earth. Good morning everyone. So today we're going to be doing a day in the life of being a vegan courtesy of Jane's new Ruth. Never have I ever like actually gone to the depths of trying to like I guess live like a vegan and you know find other ways of sourcing protein rather than having to rely on either animal protein or rely on uh, animal products. I'm super intrigued to see how I feel by at the end of the day and uh, just to see what James comes up comes up with. Because he's been doing this for what now? Two years James? Just about two years. Almost. Close. Close? Yep. Day one. <laughs> um, a bagel that's got some um, almond butter um, on it instead of peanut butter. Typically we do some peanut butter, but we're doing almond butter today with some raspberry jam, some banana. The savory one is the other side of the bagel and it's got some almond butter, it has some tofu, and then it has uh, some alfalfa sprouts on top. And then Shane is gonna add his hot sauce, his vegan hot sauce to it. Okay, tofu bacon coming up. Yeah, it's mine. Oh, it's amazing, I can smell it. Oh, damn. Now, is this insulting if I do put hot sauce? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's amazing. No, that's so good. But I really love this. James is going to make it, so let's follow James into the kitchen. Okay, we're in the kitchen. <laughs> um, so, we're going to make... Uh, we're gonna make a smoothie. Like I love smoothies. I try and get as much as my as much as I can in calories in smoothies. So this one's just gonna be um, banana, oat milk, um, some salt, a little bit of peanut butter, and some berries. And we'll add some um, plant-based protein in there too. Uh, what else? Uh, and a little bit of maple. Um, that's typically what I would have in a smoothie day to day. I might have like two of these a day. And I try and beef them up as much as possible. So it would usually be a couple, maybe three bananas, a fair amount of peanut butter, um, and it usually comes out pretty thick. You could almost make it into a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit more liquidy because um, we're also gonna do a bowl of uh, a bowl of rice and some Beyond Meat, um, as well as some um, seared kale, uh, some chopped uh, nori sheets. Um, but I'm gonna start with this because it's cold, I'll put it in the fridge and then when I start cooking the hot stuff, then we can serve it up all at the same time. Look at this. Yours is that one, yeah. You're the one closest to you. Oh yeah. So the thick shake test, oh. you just turn it upside down and make sure it stays in there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Truffle. Very filling, very satisfying. Mm. That's all you need in a meal. Mm. No longer is my favorite meal steak and chips. <laughs> my dad, my dad wouldn't be proud of that statement, but we'll, we'll show him this and he will even flip. This is just a snack. Um, it's basically just a smoothie that's a little bit more frozen. Um, so we have acai, we have mango, we have blueberries, raspberries, we have passion fruit, we have aloe vera, all blended with some oat milk. Aloe vera? Yep. Actually. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is just a snack, um, just to top us up. And I added a little bit of hemp protein powder to it too. There we go. Eat. Mm. 
Kali, have you tried... Um, oh, oh, oh. Kali, have you tried... I'm gonna give you a little bit of this, Kali. <laughs> What, what's in here? This is avocado mousse. It's something that I have pretty much every day at home. It's just avocados, um, raw chocolate, some salt, a little bit of maple, and then you can just you can add little bits of you know if you want to put a little bit of vanilla in there or cinnamon, you can add that as well. Take it away, James. Okay, so for dinner, we just have some simple pasta with some uh, uh, some whole foods. Um, vegan mince with tomato, uh, look with a tomato base. We've topped it with nutritional yeast to give it a bit of a cheesy topping. Um, some alfalfa sprouts, just for garnish. Um, and then for dessert, we have some avocado mousse. We use four avocados. Um, we use some maple, we use salt. Um, and then we topped it with uh, <laughs> uh, choc granola, <laughs> Sorry, raspberries. And um, wait, what else choc, we... just choc is that, I'm sure people are going to ask James. Right, so we're closing up here guys, I do want to finish off James and not put this on us. We wanted to be a vegan for a day, okay? Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching this and please like, subscribe, do all those beautiful things for us and we'll see you in the next one. And just, sorry, uh, she if does, you... She does this in every conversation, we're about to say bye to someone <laughs> and she goes, oh and um, so what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Oh my God, this is important. If you have any other questions, please comment below because we'll try our very best to answer them. Um, and especially for you know the method, if you have any questions about that, um, you know we can jot down some details in the description so that you can go out there and check it out.